In recent years, China has emerged as a global leader in infrastructure development, with its network of mega-bridges standing as proof of the country's technical knowledge and ambition. These massive structures serve as essential transportation links and showcase China's ability to undertake ambitious projects on a scale unbeatable by most other countries. The construction of these bridges has not only improved transport connectivity, but also symbolizes national pride and technological achievement. However, China's mega-bridges' sheer magnitude and scale have shocked the American president, prompting a closer examination of these engineering marvels. One of Japan's most acclaimed mega-bridges, the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge, showcases the pinnacle of structural innovation. As the longest suspension bridge in the world, it stretches over the Akashi Strait, connecting the city of Kobe to Awaji Island. With a main span that reaches an astounding 1,991 meters, this architectural masterpiece embodies the fusion of art and engineering, standing resilient against the forces of nature, including earthquakes and powerful ocean winds. The construction of the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge demanded cutting-edge engineering techniques and the ability to navigate challenging geological conditions and seismic vulnerabilities. Meanwhile, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel in the United States occupies a place of distinction as a symbol of nautical innovation, seamlessly blending the realms of land and sea. Spanning across Virginia's Chesapeake Bay, this structure spans virtually 37 kilometers, incorporating tunnels and bridges to navigate the bay's challenging maritime conditions. Its construction demanded a delicate balance of engineering precision and ecological consideration, given the bridge tunnel's proximity to fragile marine ecosystems and susceptibility to severe weather. As a vital conduit for regional commerce and travel, the bridge tunnel represents the triumph of human endeavor over natural barriers, highlighting the seamless integration of land and sea. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is perhaps the most striking example of China's engineering prowess. As the world's longest bridge, spanning an astonishing 164.8 kilometers, 102.4 miles, it forms part of the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway, connecting the cities of Shanghai and Nanjing. The bridge's construction involved over 10,000 workers and 450,000 tons of steel, incorporating a series of viaducts, dams, and tunnels to traverse the region's diverse topography. Completing the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge has significantly reduced travel times between Shanghai and Nanjing, providing a crucial link between two of China's most important economic centers. Its construction also required advanced engineering techniques, such as precast concrete segments and high-strength steel cables. The Sidhu River Bridge, a hauntingly beautiful structure, symbolizes China's unrivaled expertise in bridge construction. Spanning the illustrious Grand Canyon, this bridge once held the title of the tallest bridge in the world, stretching an astonishing 11.05 meters in length and 24.5 meters in width, with a staggering height difference of 650 meters from the tower's peak to the canyon's floor. Resting in rugged terrain, with a canyon span of 900 meters and cliffs on either side, the construction of this bridge posed a monumental challenge, particularly in setting up its main cable. Traditional methods, such as manual pulling and helicopter lifting, proved unsuitable due to the canyon's adverse wind conditions and treacherous topography. Notably, the construction of the Sidhu River Bridge encountered a unique challenge, particularly in setting up the main cable of the bridge. The traditional manual pulling and helicopter lifting methods were unsuitable due to the treacherous terrain and unpredictable wind conditions. In a groundbreaking move, Chinese engineers ingeniously employed rocket technology to accomplish the task in just four seconds marking a watershed moment in the history of bridge construction technology. This trailblazing approach, rooted in China's engineering ingenuity, has set a new standard for ambitious bridge projects worldwide. Moving on, the Jiming Three Provinces Bridge is a testimony to China's unwavering commitment to conquering seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Situated in an active seismic zone, this bridge presented a formidable challenge due to its unique location and geological conditions. To address these complexities, Chinese engineers devised a pioneering method. They established support platforms at the canyon's endpoints, meticulously divided the main arch ring into sections, and employed a cantilever casting technique to infuse concrete into the structure gradually. This intricate process, combined with cable hoisting and operated ropeway hoisting systems, culminated in a breathtaking feat that earned accolades from engineers worldwide, solidifying China's leading position in bridge construction. Faced with erecting the main cable, 
Chinese engineers employed an unprecedented approach, utilizing rockets to complete the cable ejection task in four seconds. This groundbreaking application of rocket launch technology revolutionized the construction of suspension bridges in complex terrains, marking a pivotal moment in the history of world bridge building. The sheer audacity and ingenuity displayed by Chinese engineers showcased their unparalleled skill. They prompted other nations to imitate this innovative approach, solidifying China's position at the forefront of bridge construction technology, transitioning to the extraordinary Jiming Three Provinces Bridge, a true engineering marvel. We are introduced to an unparalleled feat of construction. Set against the backdrop of a large canyon in an active seismic zone, replete with unstable mountain formations and a high risk of landslides, the construction of this bridge defied convention. In the face of such unforgiving conditions, foreign engineers were keen to witness China's extraordinary approach to conquering daunting spans unfold. Chinese engineers, undeterred by the monumental task, orchestrated a remarkable endeavor. They established support platforms at both ends of the canyon, meticulously divided the main arch ring into sections, and employed a cantilever casting technique. Pouring concrete from both sides and bonding it together, they created a supporting arch with a net span of 180 meters, setting the stage for an unparalleled construction process. Emphasizing the groundwork laid by this supporting arch, the bridge's construction, with its horizontal crossbars and cantilever casting method, required the implementation of cable hoisting and manned ropeway hoisting systems, illustrating the meticulous planning and execution by Chinese engineers. This exceptional approach drew accolades from German engineers, who hailed it as the only one globally, further attesting to China's unparalleled dominion in bridge construction technology. China's bridge construction technology, as exemplified by the Sidu River Bridge and the Jiming Three Provinces Bridge, embodies the country's unwavering pursuit of engineering excellence, innovative problem-solving, and groundbreaking achievements. By surmounting formidable challenges and pushing the boundaries of traditional engineering approaches, China has emerged as a global leader in redefining the future of bridge construction technology, leaving an indelible mark on the world of engineering marvels. Over the world, there is a timeless fascination with colossal structures and awe-inspiring engineering feats, often serving as testaments to human innovation and progress. Throughout history, the construction of bridges has epitomized the blending of vision, technological prowess, and sheer audacity. A cross-continental rivalry has unfurled, with the United States and China staking their claims to the most staggering, mind-boggling bridges. Though the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco holds a cherished spot in the American collective consciousness, China has been making colossal strides that have left even its American counterparts in disbelief. The magnitude and daring spirit of China's bridge engineering have been revolutionary. To fully comprehend the enormity of this modern engineering marvel, one only needs to peer into the rich annals of history, where the Arcadico Bridge, also known as the Kazama Bridge, proudly stands as a testament to human ingenuity. Believed to be the oldest surviving bridge in the world, this arch bridge, built between 1300 and 1190 BCE, continues to serve its purpose, defying the ravages of time. It's a living reminder of humanity's early forays into structural engineering, connecting the ancient cities of Tiryns and Epidauros during the Greek Bronze Age. Yet, from the age of antiquity, the art and science of bridge building have undergone a metamorphosis. These structures' complexity, scale, and significance have expanded exponentially, along with the sheer investment required to bring them to life. China, in particular, has emerged as a global powerhouse in the realm of bridge construction, crafting towers that connect locales and redefine the boundaries of what is achievable through human expertise. Enter the Chishui River Bridge, soaring impressively at a vertigo-inducing height 350 meters above the river. When the Chinese leadership set its sights on bolstering economic ties between the Sichuan and Guizhou provinces, a monumental endeavor was undertaken. The result? A colossal bridge spanning over two kilometers, commanding a staggering quarter-billion-dollar price tag. The Sichuan Road and AMP Bridge Company took on this Herculean task, navigating treacherous, mountainous terrain to realize this engineering behemoth, ultimately proving that cutting-edge engineering and fiscal prudence can harmonize. Miles away from the Chishui River, the Green Juice Bridge captures the imagination as the world's first single tower, single-span suspension bridge. 
gently but assertively cradling the cities of Yuxi and Chuxiongyi Autonomous Prefecture in Yunnan, this edifice is a linchpin in the 190km Yuchu Expressway and the monumental Yunnan Myanmar Laos Thailand Expressway, cutting travel time significantly. Visualize a single pylon soaring 233 meters skyward, underpinning 154 suspension cables. The site is breathtaking. Construction was initiated in November 2015 and concluded in August 2018, standing as a testament to China's prowess in bridging the natural and constructed worlds. Lastly, the Pingtang Bridge emerges in the rugged grandeur of Guizhou Province, emanating an air of effortless mastery and sheer scale. Spanning the Pingtang Grand Rift Valley, this cable-stayed bridge stands as an architectural marvel, stretching 2,135 meters and ascending 332 meters above the valley floor. Three towers and a seamless steel truss girder system woven into its fabric represent yet another zenith of human ingenuity bridging literal and metaphorical divides. Thus, from the ancient echoes of the Arcadico Bridge to the dizzying contemporary wonders strewn across China's lush landscapes, the evolution of bridge building mirrors the unyielding spirit of human ambition, constantly pushing the envelope of what is possible in engineering marvels. As China continues to etch its indelible mark on the collective conscience of bridge construction, it is evident that these transcendent structures aren't just about connecting places, they are veritable symphonies of ambition and human endeavor, etching new frontiers in the annals of global engineering achievements. As a significant country in infrastructure construction, China has been setting new benchmarks in engineering marvels. The ambitious plans to build an undersea high-speed rail tunnel have captured the world's attention. This groundbreaking project, named the Jintang Undersea Tunnel, seeks to connect Zhoushan and Ningbo with an investment of $4 billion, making it the world's longest undersea high-speed rail tunnel. The announcement of this plan has sparked intense international discussions, with Western engineers expressing skepticism about the feasibility of such an endeavor. The technical complexities and sheer scale of building a high-speed rail tunnel under the sea seem daunting and nearly impossible. Nevertheless, Chinese engineers have embraced the challenge and are committed to proving their capabilities to the world, the Jintang Undersea Tunnel is part of the Yongzhou-Zhuhai Railway and represents a pivotal project in undersea infrastructure. With every meter of tunnel excavation presenting formidable challenges, the construction methods are groundbreaking. The entire undersea tunnel spans an impressive 16.2 kilometers, with a maximum buried depth of 78 meters and a tunnel diameter of 14 meters. Furthermore, the tunnel's maximum burial depth in the sea area is 50 meters, highlighting the extensive engineering and construction requirements. To bring this unparalleled vision to life, Chinese engineers employ a combination of construction methods, including the open cut, shield, and mine methods. Each approach is tailored to address the specific geological and environmental conditions encountered during construction. In softer, more pliable soil, the open cut process proves effective, involving the direct excavation of the ground to build the tunnel's interior structure. Conversely, the shield method becomes indispensable when faced with challenging seabed conditions. This technique enables the excavation of tunnels in soft and water-bearing strata, utilizing a shield machine to support the surrounding rock and securely transport soil, gravel and mud outside the tunnel through a conveyor belt. Moreover, the mining method, involving drilling and blasting, becomes crucial to progress when confronted with geological complexities and formidable rock layers. Tackling these challenges demands a meticulous approach to ensure safety and structural integrity throughout construction. The construction of undersea infrastructure presents intricate engineering demands, as evidenced by the undersea tunnel construction for the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, which relied on the innovative method of submerged tube construction. This involved building the immersed tube tunnel on land, placing it on the seabed, and sequentially sinking and splicing it into place. As China continues to push the boundaries of infrastructure development with its ambitious undersea tunnel project, it is poised to set a new benchmark in the transportation and engineering industry. The sheer scale and technological sophistication of China's megabridges have not gone unnoticed by global leaders, including the American president. Upon witnessing these monumental feats of engineering, the president expressed a mixture of amazement and curiosity. In public statements, the president acknowledged China's achievements, highlighting the need for the United States to remain competitive in infrastructure development. 
China's success in constructing mega bridges has ignited discussions about global infrastructure competition. As the American president marvels at China's achievements, questions arise about the strategic implications for the United States. Can the US match China's pace in developing cutting-edge infrastructure and what steps should be taken to ensure competitiveness on the world stage? China's mega bridges evoke admiration and pose questions about the nature of global cooperation and competition. Is there room for collaboration between nations on monumental infrastructure projects in a world interconnected by trade and technology? Alternatively, will the awe-inspiring structures built by China intensify global competition, driving countries to outdo one another in a race for technological supremacy? As the American president contemplates China's mega bridges, strategic planning for future infrastructure projects becomes paramount. The need for a comprehensive and forward-looking infrastructure agenda emerges, encompassing sustainability considerations, technological innovation, economic impact, and global competitiveness. The American response to China's infrastructural achievements catalyzes a renewed focus on long-term planning and investment in the nation's infrastructure. In addition to their economic, technological, and geopolitical implications, China's megabridges have become cultural landmarks, shaping public perception domestically and internationally. The American president's acknowledgement of these structures reflects a recognition of their cultural significance. As icons of national pride, these bridges contribute to shaping China's narrative on the global stage. The public perception of such monumental achievements influences diplomatic relations and fosters a sense of pride and unity among the Chinese population. China's investment in mega-infrastructure projects extends beyond its borders, contributing to a strategy often referred to as infrastructure diplomacy. The Belt and Road Initiative BRI, of which many mega-bridges are integral, exemplifies China's approach to enhancing its global influence through economic and infrastructural collaboration. The American president's response to China's mega-bridges raises questions about the role of infrastructure in shaping international relations and the extent to which countries leverage such projects for diplomatic influence. While China's mega-bridges receive admiration, they are not immune to criticism. Concerns about transparency, debt sustainability, and environmental impact accompany these ambitious projects. The American president's nuanced reaction reflects an awareness of these challenges, prompting a reassessment of the balance between infrastructural development and addressing potential downsides. The scrutiny of China's mega-projects sets a precedent for how nations navigate the complexities of large-scale infrastructure initiatives. The country's commitment to pushing the boundaries of traditional engineering approaches and its ability to surmount formidable challenges has established it as a global leader in defining the future of bridge construction technology. That brings us to the end of today's episode. Thanks for sticking with us till this moment. If you enjoyed this video and wish to see more of this, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Remember to share this video too. Till next time. Thanks for watching.